Yay, skipping through text. They needed to be quite sure. As such, I encouraged him to act against the rules so that I might observe the outcome. I don't get your third motive. What the hell happened nine years ago? Didn't I say? The nonary game was playing. I planned it out, and I conducted its execution. Why? What on earth was it supposed to do? I don't really think I have any obligation to tell you that. Hey, what's with this gun? Where did he get this? Why don't you tell her, Santa? On the other side of door six, we found the gun in the coffin in the cargo room, right? Master must have grabbed it when we weren't looking. Indeed, I did. That was a pretty serious mistake, you know. Just saying you intended to leave it behind. Well, there isn't much time left. I'll be off then. Well, where are you going? Do I really need to explain? I had assumed it would be obvious. I have the number nine bracelet. And now I have Lotus. Wasn't there a door with a nine on it in the room that looked like a church? That's where you're going, isn't it? And how do you know that? Santa told me about it while we were looking for Clover. I see. Well, you are correct. That is my destination. But now I must say goodbye to all of you. Ah, and please, don't forget my warning. Move and I'll pull the trigger. I don't need her alive to open the door, you know. Shit! He's getting away! We can't risk it. Now, Lotus, open the door for me if you would. Huh? Goodbye. Damn it! Uh... Hey, June, what happened? Are you all right? Jesus, you're burning up. Your fever's back. Are you okay? I'm okay. Really, I'm fine. You shouldn't be worrying about Lotus. But... Chumpy, don't worry about me. I just need a little rest. I'll be fine. Don't you remember? I just needed to rest a little bit last time. So please, please save Lotus. Think about what Ace has already done, Junpei. When he's got what he needs from Lotus, you really think he's just gonna let her walk away? Damn it. You guys go on ahead. As soon as June starts feeling better, we'll follow you. Go! Ugh. Huh. All right. Come on, Seven. We're going after Ace. Hell yeah! Santa, you take good care of June. I'm trusting you. Got it. Let's go! See, I'm not really sure what else to say, unfortunately. I mean, th this is getting pretty interesting, I feel. I think especially so for me, because I literally do not remember this game. <laughs> As I've said numerous times already. Where are they? I don't see them. You think they already went through? Uh, maybe. Let's check the red. Engaged. It's occupied. That means Ace and Lotus went through here. Yeah, it seems like it. What do we do now? Yeah, uh, what should we do? Well, the big door is still vacant, but... The two of us can't do anything with it. Yeah, not even counting how our digital route is at nine. What's that sound? Oh yeah, I kind of forgot about the coffin until now. from over there the coffin yeah let's open it how by force I don't think that's gonna happen well you never know till you try right the only necessity for success is the willingness to suffer 1,000 failures who said that I, I forget <laughs> anyway we've got to try <sighs> Didn't I 
tell you? If you could just pull it open, why would it have something like that? Right. So unless I put in the right passcode, it's not gonna open. Was there some sort of clue somewhere? Hey, Junpei, I remember you mumbling about some weird numbers over by the bathroom in the first class cabin. You got those numbers by solving the secret message Clover was holding, right? Truth had gone, or something like that. Yeah, that's right. What about it? Well, maybe that number's the passcode for this thing, too. Come on, that's impossible. Well, now, don't speak too soon. Those numbers were the code to unlock that safe. Yeah, but the person who set up that safe in this coffin is the same person, right? Zero set up both of these. Yeah, probably. Well, then they might have set the same passcode for both of them. That's ridiculous. Yeah, well, it could be true. Why don't you just try it? I mean, it's not like you'll make things any worse. It'd just be a waste of time. There's no way they're the same number. Come on, Junpei, just try it already. How do you know that? You never know until you try. The only necessity for success is the willingness to suffer a thousand failures. <sighs> Who said that? You. <laughs> ah, fine. One four three eight three four two one. What? Well, what do you know? You gotta be kidding me. Snake. You. Why? Ah, those voices. Junpei and Seven, unless I'm mistaken. Where are the others? Are they elsewhere? Uh. <clears throat> hmm. I see. I believe I got the gist of everything. Have I been sufficiently caught up? Yeah. <clears throat> but that still doesn't explain why you were trapped in here. We've still got no clue about Zero's true identity, let alone why the hell he's doing all this. Why did he put Guy X in Snake's clothes? Is all this stuff somehow related to that notary game that was played nine years ago? Hmm. Hey, Snake, do you know anything? Um, what are you talking about? I apologize, but I have no idea what you're saying. Oh, come on, just tell us if you know. I don't know what to tell you. How can I know something I don't? This is bad. We're running out of time. We need to go after Ace. What do we do now? The three of us can't make a digital route of nine. Yeah, we just get five. We're stuck here then. Oh, hey, I just remembered something. What? What is it? I, uh, I found something earlier. What did you find? This. Zero. Zero's bracelet. What did you say? Are you saying that Seven has the number zero bracelet? Yeah. Where did you get that? Clover gave it to me. She did? Yeah. How did she come by it? Well, she found it. You see, on the other side of door one, A deck, the captain's quarters. Ah, that must have been what Ace was after. She asked me to hold on to it because it was too big and bulky for her to be lugging around. He's lying. He even told us earlier. I haven't actually looked at it. Starts a crime scene, you know? Basic stuff. Well, I did borrow one thing. He probably said that so Snake doesn't find out about Clover. All right, Junpei. Been nice knowing you. Wait, what? Come on, man. I'm just kidding. <sighs> Still, just in case, I want to make sure the Zero bracelet gets picked up by the Red. Snake, give me a hand, all right? Isn't it opening? Huh. Interesting. Uh, well, the third asterisk went up, so it must have registered the zero bracelet. Maybe it isn't actually zero. Huh? What? That bracelet may not actually produce the number zero when scanned. That is what I'm saying. Hmm. Hmm. Why don't we try a few different combinations? 
Perhaps we can determine what number that bracelet actually contains. Oh, got it. All right, let's see here. Now, see, I actually know what number that bracelet produces. At least, I think. So I have to figure out which one, if any of these, does it. So, let's see, give me a second here. Alright, so yeah, let's go with the middle one. Let's try me, seven, and the bracelet. If this combination works, then the number for this bracelet is six. It opened. Yes, so it would seem. That means the bracelet is actually six. But how is that possible? The display on the bracelet clearly shows a zero. That's not good. I guess our time's just about up, huh? At any rate, we know now that the door can be opened. Let's go! But, Snake, are you sure? Yeah. You know that only Junpei and I can go through this way. You needn't worry. I have a solution to this problem. My last resort. But if now is not the time for last resorts, then when? By the way, what the crap is Snake wearing? <laughs> last resort? Wait, what? Had I used it at the beginning of the game, I would have come under a great deal of suspicion. I imagine that most people would have taken it to mean that I was zero. Once they'd convinced themselves of that, I wasn't optimistic about my chances of making it out of here alive, let alone unscathed. I felt it best to play my cards close to the chest, as it were. That way, if I were in a situation where there was nothing else I could do, I'd have a little trick up my sleeve. I'd just take my bracelet off. Oh. My brother's left arm is... Um, it's not like a normal person's arm. Oh, that's true. It's fake. It's not a real arm. I forgot about that. <laughs> I know this is kind of a weird thing to say, but I'm glad that's a fake arm. Be afraid of the door if you don't got a bracelet. You are correct. I think these stairs connect to the bottom deck. Doesn't look like it's underwater. Let's go through that door. Incinerator? Oh my. That doesn't sound very pleasant. Do you see a lever near the gate, perhaps? Yeah, right over here. How did you know that? Well, I'd be happy to regale you with the story. I imagine it should only take. Half a day or so. Uh, hmm. uh. If you pull it, the door ought to open. Got it. Uh. <sighs> what? Why? Hmm. I will explain my hmm much later, like once we actually get to the true ending, but there, there's something about this. Why is there another one?
Of course. Please evacuate the incinerator immediately. Oh my, how exciting. You've run quite a show here, Zero. What's the matter? Too frightened to understand? Here, let me explain. It's said that the incineration system is about to activate. In nine minutes, this room will be engulfed in flame. Hmm. Who are you? You don't recognize me? I'm hurt. It's me, Snake. Snake? Oh, yes. You are alive. I'm afraid your bizarre style had me confused. I'm quite glad to see that you're alive. Hmm. If you don't mind my asking, how did you get here? Snake, June Pay 7. The three of you couldn't have opened a door with a knife. Hmm. Did you use Clover's bracelet, perhaps? What? Ah, well, your reaction suggests that you did not. Uh, hold on. Why did you think we'd have Clover's bracelet? Oh, they haven't told you? Told me what? Hmm. Normally, I would take some time and enjoy the moment. But I'm afraid my time is at a premium just now. I'll have to make this quick. Clover. Don't do it, Ace. Keep your goddamn mouth shut. Clover. I said stop it. Don't listen to him, Snake. What happened to Clo- Clover died. No, that's not true. That's impossible. It's a lie. It has to be a lie. Oh, it's quite true. I can assure you of that. I killed her myself, you see. What? I'm sorry, did I stutter? Wow, Snake actually opened his eyes. I killed her. I would have rather she died than my suffering. A bullet in her brain, perhaps, would have been ideal. Unfortunately, that would have made quite a bit of noise. Circumstances being what they were, I was forced to settle for the knife. The one the ninth man had, you remember. <laughs> I believe I caught her just below the shoulder blade. I was rather lucky, in fact. My first thrust went right between her ribs. Her flesh was so soft. My knife slid in so easily. There was no resistance. That feeling was... I confess, I feel rather excited. It is a powerful memory. Someday, perhaps, I hope I can feel it again. Incineration will begin in seven minutes. I'm going to kill you. Hmm? What was that? I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Ah, so you're going to kill me. Please do. Come. Now. Don't do it. Don't listen to him, Snake. Stop it, kid. He's screwing with your head. Is there a problem? What are you waiting for, boy? Don't you want me to send you to join your sister? Don't! The snake! Don't do it! <gasps> snake! Snake! her bracelet I will be unable to open this door quickly now I don't have time for your shenanigans I see then it would seem I have no choice the rest of you must die as well fortunately I have five bullets left one for Junpei another for Lotus and the last three for that lump of idiotic man you call seven I will take Lotus's body with me and leave this room Incineration will begin in four minutes. Well, it looks as though our time together is at an end. I rather enjoyed playing with you. Damn it! Goodbye. Kill you? What? No, that's impossible. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Go snake. St stay away from me. Get back. Stop. If you come any closer. 
closer, I'll... I'll... Get away from me! <sighs> Listen to me! I said, don't come any closer! Shit! You bastard! Now see, this is actually one thing that I do remember. This whole scene right here, Snake being shot a whole bunch of times and still getting an ace. I'm sorry, that, that line is just a bit, just a bit bullshit. You don't have to die. You could be saved. Just let me go. <laughs> that ache. Begging for your life. Snake, that's enough. You can stop now. Yes, he's right, Snake. You've done enough. Come on, Snake, let's go. Let's get out of here. You have to come with us. We have to leave together. I apologize. But I'm afraid I can't do that. Can't let you do that, Star Fox. Okay, sorry. Had to. You'd best forget about me. You need to leave soon. I'm going to take him with me. Shut up! Be quiet! I couldn't save Clover. My sister died because of me. Perhaps this will begin to atone for that. Perhaps in the afterlife she can forgive me. Now go. Go now. You have to go. Incineration will begin in one minute. Shit! We're out of time! We gotta go! <sighs> uh, Junpei, what are you doing? You have to get out of here now! Snake! Snake! Insert some kind of Metal Gear Solid reference here where people yell snake when you die.
Stay here. I'll go get Santa and June. You're gonna bring them here? How? Don't worry about that. Just stay here and wait, all right? <sighs> I saw an elevator on the way here. If I can get it to work, then maybe... Please work. God, this, Santa. this ending's taking forever, because I have stuff to do if, like, soon. So, I'd like this to be done soon, as much as I'm enjoying it. Impossible. Oh, Connie! Connie! Connie, are you all right? Jumpy? Uh. Oh, man. Connie, what the hell happened to you? You... you feel... Jumpy, I'm sorry. I... I... I might not make it. No. No way. No way I am going to let you die. I am going to save you. I promise. I think we heard this exact spiel during the submarine ending. Thank you, Jumpy. Thank you so much for, for everything. I was really happy to see you again, Jumpy. Really happy. Don't give me that I was crap. You're going to see me again lots more times. You just got to hang on. All right, Connie? Jumpy, did you know? You meant a lot to me when we were kids. I liked you for a long time. You made a really long time. Zero. You son of a bitch! Where are you hiding?! What the hell are you talking about? No. No, it hasn't. I'm not gonna let it end yet. I'm gonna get out of here with Connie. Why? The wrong path? What are you talking about? I told you! I am not going to lose! Connie! 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 
And that's the end. Let's see, can I skip past the credits? Nah, it doesn't look like it. Oh, nope, I can. The end. Or is it? Oh, and we got an achievement. Oh, I got another achievement too. A sixth sense of what's coming. But yeah, there is the safe ending. So now there's just one more ending we need to get before we can get the true ending. And unfortunately, it's a bad ending. So. Let's see... I need to go back here. Well, we really don't have a choice now. But, we're going to do that next time. On oh, 9 hours, 9 persons, 9 doors. Thank you all for tuning in to this uh, slightly longer stream than usual. And, um, I don't know, right now, for me, it's 8.10. I might stream again at 9. It all depends on how I feel, really. Just because I was, if you've seen my Twitter, you've seen that I was torn on which game to play, so I figured, why not both? So, I might stream some XCOM in about 50 minutes, I might not... It, it, it really just kind of depends on how I feel, so, yeah, we'll see, and until then, or until tomorrow, or whenever I stream next, have a good one.